Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Tim with DanielFast.org. We thank you again for joining us today. We'll be working out of the 21 Day Daniel Fast Workbook today, as usual. Today's scripture is from Matthew 6.20. And it says, But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in or steal. And this is a direct quote from Jesus while he's speaking. So, um, what can we say about this particular verse? It's kind of a, a touchy verse because it touches all. Mm -hmm. We want to save, we want to uh, accumulate money, we want to have savings, we have stock market, and we, we're playing. And uh, that's not what Jesus said here. So, uh, you know, we, we must. Uh, I remember a man that I knew very dearly. He was a very, very rich man. And one time he wanted to buy, uh, he wanted to buy Mercedes Benz. And uh, I said, well, that's fine, you know. Uh, but I said, how much money do you give on earth? Well, he said, I've got a school that I support completely. I've got about five or six uh, missionary houses around the world that I go regularly to see them. And I, I spend money on them. I help missionaries all over the world. And I said, well, I think you can, you can afford a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Because, see, what, what is important is that your mind, your heart, is in the things of God. You're not going to take the money with you. You're not going to take a penny with you. In fact, when you die, it's going to cost you to be buried. And therefore, you know, if your heart is right, you give it in life to those things that matter, to the poor, to the orphan. To the missionaries, there, there's hundreds and thousands of missionaries that they're out there working with no money. Listen, I travel the world. I travel uh, 37 countries with $20 in my pocket. That's all that I needed because I wasn't there to build something or nothing like that. I was there to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ that gives us the hope of eternal life. To the poor, to the rich, to everyone who wants to receive the gospel, I was there to give them. You know, I was not there to impress them with how much money I had or, or do so. I remember I was in, a, in, 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 in Malawi and a brother said, what kind of missionary are you? I said, well, I'm a missionary. I come here to give the word. He said, well, let's, let's go. Well, let's see. You know, we had to change an engine in the middle of the road. We had to, uh, all kinds of things happened to us. But we was there pressing for the kingdom of God because that is what is important in the world. That is what we're here for. What we're here for is to live for Christ, to love the Lord, to help Him. And if we're mindful of money and, and, and how much we make, I understand, you know, I, I've got a little stock here and there, but that's not my aim. That's not my absolute. Everything I do is given here for the kingdom of God because that is important to me that should be important to you this scripture here you say Lord Lord help me Lord Jesus to store my money if I got a penny I give it to the missionary if I got a dollar I give it to the missionary if I got a hundred dollars I give it to the missionaries and then my king that this scripture will be fulfilled in you where you know you you, you, you lay treasures in heaven where moth or rust will not destroy it and, and that is what is important because you never see a man that's filthy with money and, and pass his funeral he doesn't have a penny so that is what talks to me well I guess that's what it's saying to you. <laughs> what is it? I'm going to ask you. I'm going to go down here. Yeah. Lord, teach me too. So, um, how about if I answer that? Yeah. Lord, teach me too. Lord, teach me to be more giving. As Charlie mentioned, we have to support missionaries. We. It is our commission. God, Jesus gave us a commission 
to go out into the world. That doesn't necessarily mean that I physically need to go to Africa. If you can go help somebody get it there. I can do that. If I can give them money, let them do it, and we can support them financially, that's wonderful. That's what it says to me. Amen. Do, do your part. And make sure that <laughs> you support the right person. Because you won't, you don't want to support a missionary that is going to load him, load, load him more money, more money, more money. You know, you want uh, your effort to go to the people. That is the important thing. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful that those people who are called to be missionaries can go out into the world, spread the good the good news of the gospel. And I can be here supporting them and doing my part of the chain. I see it as a long chain. You know, I do my part, they do their part, and the Lord does his part. And it's a beautiful thing. If everybody will do that, we'll have a world evangelized and Christ will be sitting on the throne. That's right. Amen. Remember, I'm Charlie. And I'm Tim with DanielFast.org. Shalom.